What's Up on Her Gems. Today we are joined by Kid Bloom, who is a pop rock band from Studio City, California, and they've already bloomed into the music industry. Their first single, I Kissed a Girl and She Kissed Me, and many others of their songs have been streamed over a million times on Spotify, and one of their songs, Electric You, was featured in a film, Independence Day Resurgence, and their EP, Lemonhead, is due to release this fall. So, our friendly face in, in LA, Ari, went down to the show to show some support, so we're going to put some videos in our interview there. Uh, but today I'm joined by Lennon, who's their lead singer. I'm really happy to have you with us today. How are you? Happy to be here. Thanks for having us. It's awesome. That was a have. great little intro. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just used your website as a good guide. <laughs> I love it. Yes, did you read that? Did yep. That oh, okay. All right. Always. So, just for our listeners to know a little bit more about you guys as a group, what can you tell us about how you guys all started out in music and what the origin of Kid Bloom is, and even the name? How'd you guys pick the name? How'd you get started? Um, it started out, like, I mean, it was like, I was at music college in Boston, and I just wanted to be in a group. I just wanted to, like, make music and not be in school, essentially. So... Um, yeah, I just left college. I came to LA. I like started it with uh, two other friends of mine, um, who had then who left the band later. Um, but it was started with them, and the name was just like it's, there's really nothing too insane about the name. It just kind of was like easy and quick, you know what I mean? So it was cool. That's all. That's <laughs> all it was. We were like, all right, this is a name we don't hate. So. How many names did you guys go through approximately? I think like two. I think like two one. names. Yeah, and both of them, the first two were awful, and then the third one was like, all right. So. Seems a little painless then in terms of names. Some it people was. have horror stories. It was. It's kind of like the name, once the name was picked, it kind of like yeah. made everything go. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. For sure. <laughs> I swear that she can tell you So, we, along with all your existing fans, know your vibe as a band, but what would be your elevator pitch to any new listeners? My elevator pitch, good word. <laughs> um, I, I think, I mean, we're just like a, a, a poppy, a pop, pop rock, I guess a little bit more on the pop end, I would hope. Um, yeah, <laughs> get down, that's my fucking... <laughs> Elevator pitch. You got your new EP coming soon. It's called Lemonhead. What can you tell us about the EP and what are we going to expect from you? Is it going to be similar to your vibe right now or anything super unexpected? Um, it's... It's like, okay, so... It's not like a traditional EP. It's we're going to just do it in like, in, in singles. So we're going to do like release periodic like, singles until it's just kind of like that yeah. Lemonhead, what's it called? Cycle is over kind mm -hmm. of deal. So um, once it's out, it's going to be like two, two additional singles that, that are dropping now, and then we're going to the last one is called Lemonhead. So um, what you can expect from Lemonhead, the song is I, I really don't even want to say anything about it. It's so exciting, but um, it's it's like it's like an '80s pop anthem, and we're really hyped about it. That's really cool. Excited yeah. to hear it. And so, you've had a lot of your songs really blow up. I, as I said in the intro, you guys have had songs that reach over a million plays, and you've been your songs have been in movies, so what's that like, having a song that gets all that attention, and what do you think it takes to make a hit song like that? Um, oh, by all means, I think it was, like, the, the, you know, we worked our butts off, and then, like, a little bit of luck, you know? Um, but yeah, if, 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 it's just, it's just cool to see 
something appreciated outside of your bedroom, you know? And then what inspires you guys to write music and what's the dynamic like in your in your group when it comes to writing songs? Like does someone come up with vocals or someone comes up with a story? All, How does it work for you? We all have like yeah, we all have um certain things we bring to the table. Like Zach is like a really killer producer and just makes them the songs sound amazing. Um and then myself I do most of the writing, um, and I produce it as well. And then, as far as like all of the, all of us goes, I mean, our parts and our what we play is a huge, um, it's a huge aspect to our band. So everyone has their input. Yeah, and then I have sort of an evil question now, which is, if you had to pick one of your songs to be your favorite, released or unreleased, what would it be? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I'm really, really excited about these next two songs. I think they're just, like, completely different than what we've ever done. So I think those are right now my favorite, but I have a really weak spot in my heart for Parents' House. I really love that song. I love that song, too. It's in, like, yeah. three of my playlists right now. I love that. I love that. <laughs> And so then, what about tour? Like, as I was saying, Ari went to the show in L.A., and you guys have been touring a lot recently with uh, with the neighborhood. So do you have any favorite memories from tour or any Those struggles? Those guys are just, like, I mean, with them, it's really, like, every single second is hilarious. It's really, like, there's no nothing to be counted down. Um, every moment with them is fucking hilarious. Like, they're just so funny, and they'll constantly be, like, oh, opening our dressing room and like throwing something in there or just like fucking with us it's really fun so every 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 moment was really a, a blessing did everyone stay uh happy and healthy the entire time or was there any yeah sickness? i was a little sick a lot of throat coat a lot of jeweling <laughs> yeah <laughs> stomach's laughing at me so i looked over <laughs> And so then I have another sort of less serious question uh, towards the end of this interview. And just in general, what have been your favorite memories as as a band? Just any funny moments, anything super emotional, any fond memories, really? I think just the fact that, you know, we've kind of overcome our obstacles and gotten to where we are now is, is the best. In all-inclusive memory, I guess, I would say, because, like, we had members leave, we... You know, we kind of lost our way a little bit as far as like how we wanted to sound, and then and then that was all just kind of a part of how we got to where we are. So yeah, I think that's that's the best one. And then this is one I always ask in an Unheard Gems interview because I think it's really cool to see what other people are listening to. If you could recommend another artist you think deserves more recognition in the music industry, who would you recommend? Oh, there's this cat, his name is Sam Ebion. He's, he's just amazing. His music is so beautiful. Um, I'd say him and, like, Toro Imwa, even though Toro Imwa is, like, pretty well off, he's still could be seen as someone making music that no one else is, I think. For sure. Yeah. And then lastly, anything you want to leave us with, and then for everyone listening, where can they find your music? Okay, for everyone listening, you can find our music on iTunes and Spotify, even SoundCloud if you're one of those guys. Um, Tidal as well, believe it or not. Um, and we have a headlining show coming up in LA um, on the 18th of October. That's, and that is what I want to leave you with. 
Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. It was really great getting the chance to talk to you. Thanks for having us. I was lovely. Thank you. And thanks for having us on, on Her Gems. So glad to have you. Hell yeah, to many more. Main if I come round.